What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United Provinces. So to kind of round off what happened last time, I recaptured Upper Louisiana and um, used Van Dusen, is, <laughs> if I pronounced that right, is off to capture Michigan Territory and then push up and knock out the Iroquois. A um, little bit of... A little bit of economics investment. Um, yep, so I've retaken this part, this uh, faction off of the off of the Spanish who uh, sprinted down and captured off of me. And I'm also being cognizant that at some point I will need to fight Great Britain, so I need to... So that's what this army's doing here, is covering this pass. I'm ready to knock out this army, or if this army goes away, just to sprint in and hit Virginia. Um, we also need to recruit a fleet down here. No, no, fleet. Army to push up south and hit Georgia. And uh, the Caroline is in Charleston. And also, I probably need to fortify these and hit straight into New York. Um, what I'd like to happen is for, uh, which I've started actually doing, I think, is recruiting armies ready to land and cross the channel and invade Great Britain. Because that would make the conquest of the, of the uh, colonies so much easier. And I do need um, some quick wins in the colonies. Elsewhere, what's happening? Spain has invaded, well, has declared war on me, which is really handy, because, uh, oh. <laughs> I'm thinking of the wrong campaign. I'm thinking of my US campaign. I thought this was also Spanish. Oh, I see you, sugar plantation. Um, so Spain has declared war on me, so one of these armies will be heading south to cover this area and to invade Madrid. And I've also declared peace with Austria, so I've got my nice, nice high-level high wealth cities forming a uh, iron curtain to a certain degree um, but my next stage will be to invade Sweden or declare war on Sweden so that's what this army here under Albert Albert Bacat whatever <laughs> whatever however you pronounce it um, he's recruiting guns so I need to want to capture Hanover this army will probably sally straight out and hit Berlin um, which has got quite a big garrison but the trouble is, if I declare war on Sweden, that is effectively now a, then a world war. Because they're allied with Austria, the Iroquois, the Ottomans, the Spanish, the British, the Persians, and the Quebec. So I will be at war against the British, um, the Swedes, the Austrians, the Ottomans. Uh, the Persians aren't really much of a concern. But I will also be at war with, with Britain, um, Iroquois, and Quebec. So I'll be at war on all fronts. So this could get uh, could get real busy real fast. Let's get this agent out, get him over here, and start converting uh, the Native Americans to Protestantism. Although they're not, they normally can start converting once he hits the territory. But okay, research, uh, quick lime, and a threshing machine. Yep, that's fine. Um, yeah, five turns, quick wins. And to be honest, technology. We're, we're, even though the turn counter doesn't really show it, because I do four turns per year, um, we are at the end. Ah! Oh, I did not see these. I was much further along my invasion plans than I thought. Ooh, there's some actually quite nice forces. So what I want to do is wait for these guys to finish whatever. Well, not finish, but wait till they get further along so they're actually more... Um, actually more developed forces before I start getting too crazy and attacking people. Oh, we've got them. Oh, mine, I'll put a uh, militia unit into this port. Yeah, right. So, I need to really quickly sprint over. I'd like a third stack, to be honest. Oh, I can't, can't afford to repair that dry dock. Okay. But everyone else is repairing or reinforcing. Uh, these guns are going all the way back to France. Because that's where the capacity is. They are replenishing. And you're repairing. Yep, repairing and upgrading. Excellent. And uh, I am I'm, I'm allied with Russia, but I'm concerned I can't actually see... God, they have taken... Russia has just got absolutely destroyed. <laughs> so is this Russia... Konigsberg is Russia's new capital. Right. So it would be kind of... Oh, so if I declare war on them... Well, they are already at war with Sweden. They are. Right. So, by fighting, declaring war against them, I'll be 
easing the pressure somewhat against Russia. Which sounds interesting. Let's see if the Austrians declare war on me just because they can. Nope, good. Just a little drink. Um, <clears throat> the Ottomans have done the business. What I'd, be, what I'd like to do is the Ottomans to draw troops. So I'd like them to try, um, if I could split them out to multiple fronts. The big population, good recruitment, spot my military build-up. Find it a bit. Um, so much that it should be beating my good when they don't. That kind of sucks. Um, well, whew, hopefully there. I thought for a minute. See, every time, it's always the Ottomans for me. It's always the Ottomans that if a campaign is going to break, it's the Ottomans that does it. So, one way to get around that is either by killing them or uh, being them. <laughs> can always be a bit touch and go, particularly late game, because that's the thing with Empire is you never know. There is a port in this region it's just going to crap out on you. Developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port. Commercial porn, Croatia, not going to bother with that just yet. Let's pick some of the lower tier economic buildings. I just need to build up that tax base. Because I'm going to be declaring war on the rest of the world. New Spain. Uh, hmm. Give you a new fishery. Cheap, quick win. You're replenishing, but let's recruit some... It'll take forever to get there, but I can deal with that. Push on. Um, maintain for now. Um, I just need to do a bit of management. Oh, Persia's take... Wait. Well, I'm going to be at war with Persia soon anyway, so that's not going to matter. There you go. Troops are recruiting the Rhineland. Um, let's get you. Let's, let's get all this ticking over. Two guns. Have you got artillery on the way? I'm fairly sure that's what this. Oh, nope, they're going up to here. Where's the artillery? No, you're going up there as well. Mm, you could do with some more box standard line. So let's get three units of line. No, four units. Eh. There's two units of line. Let's see if there's anything. Because it's Holland Guard, but I don't want to use this. got two more of them yet to go. Don't want conscripts there, but naff. There you go. That's what you'll get. You've got two artillery and Holland Guard on the way. Um... Let's just recruit a bit, some more line for you. You've got troops on the way. Fix the steam dry dock. Um, just, just recruit a bit, some some more line just to sit in my capital. Are you converting them? Yep, you are converting them. Religious unrest is going down. Then you'll hit over, head over towards um, Stuttgart. Religious unrest won, but still, it's, it's best to try, try and knock it down. Ah, there's your artillery. Three turns, slow movers. Um, where's the best place to recruit a new navy? It doesn't have to be the best navy, it just needs to be a single ship. That'll do. As long as I stay out of range of British ships. There you go. Is that the Spanish getting ready to attack, getting ready to move up? Right, I think so. Unfriendly with Britain, hostile. Everyone hates me apart from the Russians and the Mughal Empire. Can't even trade with them with the Russians. Unfriendly with the Iroquois, let them be unfriendly. Um, cool. Let's hit end turn. I just want to get into a good position for when 
the war begins. Oh, I see that weaver's cottage. Is that weaver's cottage? No, it's the next one up. Oh. Austria. Oh, God. It's a bit early. Should I do it? Should I do it and see how much of them come with? Let's, let's do it. Oh no, I didn't tear down my stuff, Austria. It just means I'm going to wipe Austria off the map, but now this is it. We are at war. Oh. You know the drink. Oops. There goes another bottle. Well, at least the, at least the Ottoman turn went quickly. Now oh, let's see how the Swedes react. Um, fine, apparently. They didn't seem that bothered. Excellent. There is a port in this region. Got right, so let's get you. Select the type of port to construct here. Oh no, you are not, not totally run. not ready for this. Not ready for the attack. A naval port allows the construction of you ships. sally out. Hit but oh no, do they not? Did I wait? Yeah, I did. I'm still allied over them. Am I not? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, I'm just at war with Austria. Austria. None of their allies back them up. Nice. Well, this army in Munich. You come out and hit this stack. Push them back. Let's fight. They were trying to raid my raid. It's my land. Great. So no one joined them. Um, Austria off the map. I mean, I kind of didn't want to, but if this is their attitude, and that's what they get for attacking Russia, I stand up for my allies. Right, because there's going to be a... T Ooh, nice little hill. Nice little hill to set the guns on. Keep a unit of grenadiers and unit of line back to defend them. Probably unnecessary, but well, I say probably it is. They got a small army. Let's get the grenadiers. Let's get my rifleman on the right. Let's mass my cavalry on the left. Shrapnel shot. Hit the Austrian Hussars. I massively outnumber them, so this is going to be the end of them. And my cavalry is heavier. There we go, bring in their lancers. The Lancers are trying to save them, but it's not going to help. Throw this infantry into the mix. I don't. I do not want them to get. Um, for my, I don't want my infantry to shoot into the into the uh, combat. Right before my. Artillery goes crazy. Let's get on the round shot. No, don't shoot. Spin them around. Riflemen are engaging at the extreme of their range. Up, get my cavalry back out on the move. I want my cavalry to be positioned rearward of their formation, ready to hit fleeing troops. Oh, just hit that unit of Hungarian line, actually. They're standing there ready for it. Hit 
they hit their um, centre of their formation. Everyone gets stuck in. Turn off my artillery because otherwise they will kill all of my all of my artillery. There. Uh, Cavalry is ever present threats, but they seem to be content to just mosey on around. There we go. So you got my horse guards. Horse guards aren't great for this sort of work. You do want lighter infantry, but you do want lighter cavalry. But I just generally find lighter cavalry to be a bit rubbish for most other things. go hit that unit of Hungarian Grenadiers. Get all my line infantry in on the charge. Let's get my general in on the action. No, don't hit them. Hit the, hit the Hungarian Grenadiers. They're the ones to kill. Ooh. Last unit of line infantry out on the flank. Because this is a raiding force, um, it just makes so much sense to actually do it. It's going to be general in on this unit. I'm going to guess that this unit will route before. Uh, yeah, there you go. Broken. Oh, the last two units of these of this line infantry is here. Continue. No reason to let up. Turn off fire at will before they shoot my general in the back. There you go, the general is, their general is dead because I just shot him off his horse. Is everyone still moving? Well, get you in on this unit of Hungarian, Hungarian grenadiers with the general because they are. I would say they're too far away, but actually they aren't. Get them to hit the unit of grenadiers, get them to try hit that unit of line infantry. But they're very far away and my unit is tired. Although they are quite some ways away. There we go. So shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah, it can be a bit manpower intensive to chase these units down at times. There you go. Is that my general done? Yep. Now get my general chase off this unit of line, actually. Yeah, those, that unit will probably make it, but I can make it difficult for them. I can try and... No, oh, they're going to make it. Yeah, because they route as soon as the first unit touches... The first troop touches the uh, the red line. Same with these guys, they're probably going to make it. There you go, at least that unit's hit the back of that unit of line. No, they might... Oh. There's three here, there's a fourth guy somewhere. There you go, they turn around to route... Aha, there's the fourth guy. So once these guys go down, it's just him. This unit's drawn them down from the 50s, 59-ish, I think, to 44. Pretty good. That guy's done for. And then when they hit the line, done. Smash in. I'll have lost that many troops doing it. There you go. Lost 200, took out 1200. A 6 to 1 almost. And that's that unit retreated. And this army is ready.
to advance into Austrian territory after I've done some investment. There you go, some of these areas are just going to be an absolute gold mine. Just going to make sure I'm, tax I'm um, taxing them. Yeah, they'll be alright once their resistance to foreign occupation goes down. Um, this army. I move you out to try hit Brandenburg. So you need artillery. There's two guns there. Two out of strength guns there. But I could theoretically do this. And they can still... No, I forgot about that. <laughs> um, may as well move these howitzers back. Because they don't need them. Um, they are going down to here. You're going to them. You are going to this guy. He is ready. So he is going to go down south and threaten Madrid. Oh, there's a farm that got away. Oh, good. College of Divinity. For a minute, I thought that was a seminary. Ah, and I am slowly turning France Protestant. Protestant. Uh, Gunner School Weaver's Cottage. Upgraded. Palatial Estate. Gunnery School in Venice. Let's give it the Ordnance Board. Because I need to be ready for Italian States just to arbitrarily attack me. Um, so that's why I do need just some some units of line to try and respond. Really, only, really all I need is a garrison in Venice. Because then I will just push out and take them. Take them out. Um, well, well, probably actually a smart move to just do that. <laughs> and then... Uh, quick win. There you go. Recruit a nice little garrison. Because I don't want I think it's with, with uh, hmm. Well actually if I take Austria I've surrounded Sweden, the Swedish pocket rather nicely. Oh, Lithuanian rebels and the Ottomans. So the Ottomans are taking Kiev and they'll probably take Lithuania, so I'll have a, a big front against the Ottoman Empire. But so I'd like to open up a front down here. Probably oh I could take Sardinia. Just create an army, sail them across. Command that island in the med. So you're ready, you're ready, you're ready. Uh, yeah, I think everyone is ready. But yeah, push on to Austria. Surround the Swedes. When I attack the Swedes, I could tr maybe, if I'm lucky, knock knock them off of the uh, off of the continent within a turn. I could lay siege to Berlin and Hanover and anywhere else they please they try to defend and yeah knock them out in one turn then push them back up into Scandinavia ooh they are actually trying to stay forth but looking at the time I think that might be the end of the part so thanks for watching guys and then see you next time if Victorino Flores defending Michigan Territory can stave off 2,700 wily Dutchmen. Let's see you next time.